Okay, done with that. I wish this thing would go away, I already know. I don't think you need stuff like cooldown reaction, but you might uh, very well yeah, let Ah, I see. So, wait, does it mean it's only one M upgrade and one pistol upgrade? Okay, if you say so. Okay, so there is a still a beacon, but there is still one more side side over there and I pretty much Just the position for shooting, I, I take it. Uh, pity he cannot, like, dash. With his uh, weapons down. Well, I believe... That would be it for looting the area. So, what's about this Prothean beacon? Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. Touch him! It's too dangerous! Owie. Well, that surely didn't go well. But at least we uh, prevented the plants from going. We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime. The Normandy. A human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it.
quite a character you have here, eh, Saren? Well, I knew about it, but... Doctor! Dr. Chakwas! I think he's waking up! You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Well, not great, that's for sure. Like the morning after shore leave. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I that's think. That's quite a lot. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. Oh, what about the beacon itself? Where's the beacon now? What happened to it? The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. Hmm. So I was hurt. What's the damage, Doctor? Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. Yeah, I think it was more like a vision, not a dream. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death? Destruction? Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our XO holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the command is going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? Well, I'm pissed about the guests, especially what way are they doing, the, all this, you know, spiking people. Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. I'm okay with Williams here and Jenkins. I didn't really feel attached to him, so I can say nothing about it. So, you uh, straight to the point. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. Well, I did my job. The Geth would have wiped out the whole colony if I hadn't stopped them. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. He wanted a beacon? He didn't come to Eden Prime because he hates humans. Yeah, for the beacon. You're right. Saren has allied himself with the Gith. I don't know how. I don't know why. But it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Well, I'm not sure myself, to be honest. Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? Death, pretty much. I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. And what exactly will we say? What are we going to tell him? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation is politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. 
He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. Well, not if I can help it. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. Well, then we expose him. We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the Council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the Ambassador, and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Well, that was one hell of adventure, Eve. If I can put it this way. And now we are back on our Normandy ship. And in actual, in our uh, casual uh, hey, commander. footwear. So, since I don't have much time uh, left, I might as well take it to get familiar with the layout of my ship. I'm glad you're okay, commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. It's a war, Ashley. Soldiers die on, on this. When your number comes up, it's over. His did. Do you really believe that, Commander? After what happened to you on a coos? Are you saying you only survived because of random chance? Well... It wasn't about luck, Ashley. I survived because I refused to die. With respect, sir, I think you had somebody watching over you. And what about you? Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. Comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out, and you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. Well, I gotta uh, give you a credit that because you helped. We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. Well, welcome to the board. I think you're gonna fit in here just fine, Williams. Thanks, Commander. Okay, we got letters, we got elevators. Just where am I? Okay, I'm in... Ow, for some reason. It choked for a sec, Dr. Chuck Yes, was... Commander? Is there something you need? How well do you know the Lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record, over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. Uh, L2? What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenko was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. Like? What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. Oh, There's a yeah. long list of horrific side effects. Caden's lucky. He just gets migraines. Well, that's not the qualities of the soldiers that should be on um, my ship. Okay, that that's good to know. And... You know, guys, all of this talking I'm doing uh, right now, I am not aware of them. I, once again, know only the key plot points, like uh, what happened to the uh, to the Eden Prime and somewhere later in the game. But I do not know about any of the dialogues. What do you know about Captain Anderson? I've served with him for a few tours now. He knows when to let things slide and when to crack the whip. 
The crew knows he's seen pretty much anything they'll ever run into. And he cares about the people under his command. How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe. Too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse, and the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. So no reg regrets, I take it. Ever think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth, or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. But there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. Well, good to have you on board, Dr. Shackwest. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Okay, now you, mentally unstable, psionic tech. Glad to see you're okay, Commander. Well, glad to see we don't have to... Okay, you're the Captain Anderson. So that's just a crew. Okay, we got elevator down. We got the ladder up. Okay, I believe if that's the case, I should just. Uh, speak with Captain Anderson and take Go a speak pause. to Joker when you're ready. Tell him to bring the Normandy into dock. Ah. Whoops. Sorry, I... Somehow that slipped my mind for some reason. So we still need to go up it up. Okay, we got map. It looks uh, like some kind of conference room. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. Losing Jenkins was hard enough on the crew. More codex. Like, once again, guys, I am not planning to, uh, you know, rush through the game. I am, uh, I will uh, go through pretty much everything as much as I can, if I can possibly do so before advancing the story. Like, seriously, what's the point of the let's play if I'm just rushing through the uh, main courses since literally what kind uh, why would I even do that I don't like uh, rushing things I prefer taking a slow approach over things hey commander looking for some extra supplies before you head out supplies what have you got Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard Alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? My stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. Show Let's me. see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Well... That... Might just... 
take quite a while. Ah, uh, I rem I definitely remember that big boy and that we will be I see. So we got like four more crew members to go, I take it. Okay, and this looks like some kind of like an Shame engine. About Jenkins, Commander. Uh, you don't say. So you, you are the requisition and I will possibly, you know, do my best to do all of the, uh, all of the buying and selling off screen. So you don't have to watch uh, me doing that boring part of the job. And I think that that would be pretty much it for this session. And I think this is a nice place to stop right here. So we got some interesting news on uh, what happened to the Eden Prime and next time it looks like we will be heading to the Citadel and we'll see how things will play out there. So until next time guys! Bye!